Yeah. Woo. So, welcome, friends of Paulo Sector Meyer. Flail weapons, play number seven. Ein Oberschlag gegen einen unteren or an overstrike against an understrike. When you see the picture, one of those both uh, players has a very weird position. And we thought about why should someone stand in a posture like this? Um, we figured out that still having the previous play in mind, um, if he does a step forward and runs over me, um, he closed the distance. So how I came to this situation our interpretation and just an idea um, in a kind of Zufechten. I got the idea to strike with him with a murder strike because he stands a little bit far away and opens me his, his upper right and my, my initial attention is just what? Strike with full force to him something what well, this weapon is very yeah, used to be striking with full force. But, in the moment I launch my strike, he um, overruns me. So he does a step forward, so just show it what would happen. So when I would proceed like this, yeah, he could something absorb it, or just let, let this pass, take his with his shoulder, and give me the full strike with his weapon. So. What I try to avoid him is um, hiding the target he's aiming for. So I put my body down and bring my, hand, my hands to the ground like Maya described to um, strike for the feet he's opened me to step in. So I see that he's moving. I'm stopping my strike here, changing my posture and go for his um, and his strike, if it's gone too far, it will run over me, even if his foot is going away then. So, this is our idea how we come to the starting position of this play. Um, we have to keep in mind at this position, but we come in the next step to it. So, after I strike him like this, he just avoided by raising his feet. So I am. So I do my murder strike and he retreats or uh, step a little bit back, just retreats to some, some kind of pop, pop, dancing step back and forth. And um, so his foot isn't in range anymore. Because he's aware of what I am doing, he got now the, the very, very good opportunity to strike to my backside. Um, and I think this is something uh, close to the picture we see in the manuscript. So, what, what I do to avoid this, and this is why I am not, or why I describe the bark with the hands to the bottom, 
between my legs more or less, or my feet. If I would stand like this to overextend me, I would not be able to retreat anymore and avoid his strike like I do in the next part of his play. So what I am doing, changing my idea, go for his feet, and now I'm still in the position because I'm in the swing to move my foot back, bring him to the other side and strike to him. And from there, it's more or less a common thing. If he parries this, I do this, this triangle step. So I go out with my right foot, turn back with my left foot. So I mark some kind of triangle on the ground, change the vector of my attack and strike him from the other side. So this is essentially our idea um, how to, to run through this very interesting posture we see. Um, um, yes, let us know what you think about it if you have some other solutions to this. And um, yeah, write in the comments. We are very happy to see this. So for now, thank you, Leonard. Thank you, Fabian. And thank you.